What's your reaction when you hear the president blast all of these individuals along those lines? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's not different from what we've seen before. He doesn't like investigations that touch on him or his associates or his family or his dealings in any way, shape, or form. It's probably not a great idea for him to be, you know, blasting folks this way because uh, it continues to lay the foundation that he doesn't like investigations and he might do things to stop them. I think what's really important to note here, and maybe this has already been discussed because I'm coming at the tail end of the show, um, but sort of everyone involved, if the reporting is true, particularly the part about this being approved by the Southern District of New York, U.S. Attorney's Office, which I used to lead, uh, are all people who are Republican and all people who have basically been handpicked by Donald Trump. I left office, uh, my deputy took over, and then June Kim, and then he was removed specifically for Donald Trump to put in the United States Attorney who's now acting there, Jeff Berman. You know, we handpicked him, and there are reports that he personally interviewed him. And for folks who don't appreciate this, to do a search on an attorney's uh, files, residence, office, that's a very sensitive thing that requires the personal approval of the United States Attorney himself in consultation with uh, Maine Justice. Folks at, in the criminal division of Maine Justice, the acting criminal division head is a gentleman by the name of John Cronin who also used to work in my old office. So if it's true that the Southern District of New York has taken over this part of the investigation based on a referral from Bob Mueller's office, it's being done because people think it's very serious, uh, people think it's totally warranted, and people think there's evidence that's of a significant enough nature that you're going to risk um, doing something sensitive like raiding a law office.